what got you into hiking in the first place? Well, back in 2010, I got my first dog. Okay. <laughs> and I wanted to be a good dog owner. And I started by just walking around the neighborhood and finding the neighborhood trails. Oh yeah. And just really the neighborhood I live in has great access to Lincoln Park uh -huh. as well as other Superior Hiking Trail and whatnot. And so that's how it started. And then I just kind of got more curious about what else is out there. At the time, I didn't think I would be that such a dedicated hiker, but um, the opportunity just to get out every day with my dog is so great. So what started the Hike Duluth group then? When I got into hiking, I also started taking pictures and posting them. So mm -hmm. I created Hike Duluth to share my pictures with everybody. Yeah. And then um, somebody that worked for the mayor's office saw that I was online hiking every day, posting these pictures. And in 2018, the mayor's office was doing an initiative to help encourage women to get outdoors and be active. Yeah. And somebody knew that I was a hiker and that I had to hike Duluth. So they got a hold of me and said, would you be willing to participate in this event for women getting outdoors and being active? And mm -hmm. so I said, sure. They wanted to do some women's hikes. Mm -hmm. They figured that was a low barrier way to invite women into the outdoors mm -hmm. and help them feel confident. Mm -hmm. And so we coordinated four hikes, one a month for four months. Okay. And the first hike. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I thought if 20 people show up, this will be awesome. I stopped counting after 125 women showed up. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what happened after that first hike? So after the first hike with that huge response, uh, we kept going with our hikes and women were asking me, can we keep this going? You know, we only have the four hikes scheduled, but are you going to keep doing this? Because, yeah. you know, I need motivation for winter. I want more women to hike with. And so I said, well, I'm willing to. And the city of Duluth said, yeah, sure. Parks and Rec, we'll keep it going. Yeah. And so here we are six plus years later, still hiking. Oh, there's a beaver. Oh yes. <laughs> there's a lot of beavers work. along oh, this my trail. Gosh. So it sounds like the Hike Duluth page, you know, was started because of hiking, but it's also led to a lot of connections. Just the opportunity to start Women Hike Duluth was amazing from having the Hike Duluth page, but the Women Hike Duluth, it's been fun to see connections and opportunities for other women. Yeah. We've had women who have moved to Duluth and immediately been able to connect with our hiking group and feel like they have a space to meet new people, right. to do something they love to do and get that connection. Yeah. Um, we've had people decide to move here because of what they see on the Hike Duluth page. What do people need to know if they want to jump in on it? To get in on our organized hikes, they can just go to the Duluth Parks and Rec website okay. on their program page. They have, there's actually a category, Women Hike Duluth. Okay. And you can see our upcoming hikes. September 19th yep. is um, Hawk Ridge. But if they just want to find out more about Women Hike Duluth in general, mm -hmm. uh, we have a Facebook page. I just wanted to share pretty pictures. Yeah. <laughs> and it's been amazing to see uh, new friendships made, people connecting, women getting more active, more engaged and just feeling more confident to get out on the trails by themselves or with groups of women. So it's been really amazing. Mm -hmm.